Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 80 Summer 44. So today, guys, we'll be predicting the UEFA Europa Conference League games, guys. So we'll be doing our dream draw for today. We'll also be doing a mock draw and a prediction. So if you're new out here, considering that like button, hit the subscribe button as well. And remember, guys, tomorrow I'll be doing a live reaction to the round of 16 draw reaction. It will be at 2.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Sorry, it will be a bit later than the draw, just because of the fact, of course, I got work to do. And, you know, I'll be home late. So hope you guys do not mind as we go through this. So like I said, we're going to go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and do the dream draw first, guys. Let's do, um, go ahead and do that. Um, there will be time step description below, guys. And by the way, let me go ahead and explain the rule. Well, let me, ex actually, I'm not doing dream draw. Mock draw first. Let me explain the rules, right? So rule number one is that teams cannot play against each other from the same confederation. Now, I believe that shouldn't be a problem here because I don't think there's two teams from the same confederation here. So that shouldn't be a problem. And the second rule is, I believe, I'm not sure if this, sure this is true, but you cannot have the team that you played against in the group stage. So, for example, we shouldn't be seeing um, Villarreal versus Lech Bazan. That shouldn't, I don't think that's allowed to happen. Now, if that can happen, let me know in the comments because from what I read, I don't think it can. But, you know, I don't know, man. Sometimes, you know, these kind of things. But I, I'm just applying that it won't happen, okay, guys? I believe it shouldn't happen. Anyways, let's go ahead and do this, guys. Let's go ahead and do this. So let's start the dream draw, guys. Let's start the mock draw, guys. Let's start it. So let's go ahead and scroll down. Let me scroll this down here. Da, 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 da. Let's quickly look at this. So quick look here. Uh, so we have Anderlecht versus West Ham. Ooh, that's a good one. Villarreal versus Sheriff. Okay, Lech Bozon versus Nice. Istanbul versus Fiorentina. Slovian Batisable versus Basel. Dirge Godon versus Ghent. And Sivisbo versus AK. And Alcamar versus Lazio. I believe two matches already did take place in the group stage. I believe, no, no, actually three, I think three of those took place. I think Slovian played Basel in the group stage. I think Dirge Gadon played against Ghent, and I'm pretty sure Istanbul played against Fiorentina. Well, I guess it can happen, but I'm going to, for my draw, and guys, my dream draw, I, I didn't pick any of that to happen. Anyways, we have some really good matchups, guys, some really good matchups. I believe, let's go and do some quick, real, uh, quick predictions real quick. So, Anderlecht versus West Ham, West Ham should obviously win. Villarreal versus Sheriff, Villarreal should win, of course. Lech Bazan versus Nice, that's a really, really tough one. I might give the edge to Lech Bazan, guys, because the French team has been so underwhelming. I should have mentioned this in my Europa League video, guys. There is no Europa League. There's no French team in the Europa League left. So it's either Nice and PSG. And let's be real. I, I, it's going to be difficult for PSG to overturn the deficit. So Nice is probably the last team standing. Istanbul, Bacchakshir versus Fiorentina. I think Fiorentina this time get revenge. Uh, Sylvain Bacchakshir versus Basel. That's a really tough one. I think I'll give the edge to Basel. Dirge Godal versus Gen. That's a really good matchup. I love that matchup. I'm going to say Gent wins this time. Sivispor versus AK Lornica. That's a really, really difficult one. I'm going to go with AK Lornica. Alcamar versus Lazio. Lazio, of course, should win. So let's go ahead and do the um. Let's go and do the dream draw, guys. So let's start from the beginning, guys. So let's go ahead and do this from here, um, from beginning, of course. So let's go and do this. So let me move this here. Okay. So the first matchup I have is AK Lornica versus Nice. I think it's a really, really good matchup. It's a difficult one to call for both teams. I think this one's 50-50. And I think it's a good one, guys. I think it's a close one. And I I think it could go either way. Okay. Next up, it is the big one. Fiorentina versus West Ham. You knew I had to do this one, guys. One of the two of the favorites to go in the Europa Conference League, guys. This is a big one. Obviously, one of the big teams will be knocked out at this stage. Which team will it be? I Right now, it's really difficult to call because both teams have been really underwhelming in the league. But I might give the slight edge to Fiorentina just because um, they have proved it. Whereas West Ham, on the other hand, as good as they have been, I don't know if David Moyes has really been that great. So, I don't know. That's a good one, though. But th 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 there's an argument that can be made for both teams. Ghent versus Sivisport. I really like this one because it's a really difficult one to call. Ghent has been really, really underrated. I think we're, they're one of the most underrated teams in the Conference League. They made it really far last season. And obviously, Sivisport, man, you can never write up against Turkish teams. So, I, I, I would give the edge to Ghent, but um, you could see I, I could see why Sivisport would advance. Then we have Lech Bazan versus AZ Alkmaar, a really good matchup, guys. Um, you know, none of the top five leagues, and this is a great opportunity for one of the teams to make it to the quarterfinals, you know. Um, that's a good one. And the Basel versus Slovenia about to sublay. I think that's a really, really good matchup there. That's a that could be a high scoring matchup. And then Lazio versus Villarreal. Another really big matchup, guys. Another big one. I don't think we're gonna get two big matchups, by the way, but I we're gonna get one big matchup, I can assure you. And this could be it, man. This could be it. That's a great matchup, man. Great, great matchup. And while I would pick Villarreal, they have been struggling under the new coach, Setien. And Lazio, man, they've been kind of hit or miss. Like, the thing is with Lazio is that I think they're a really good team, but they're just a hit or a miss, man. Sometimes they can do play really well, and then sometimes they can play crap. You know, you never know what this team. And the Sheriff versus Istanbul Bacek here, I think it's a really, really good matchup here. A really interesting one. And argument can be made for both teams. And then finally, the last one we have is 
Anderlecht versus George Gadon. This is a really good one because George Gadon is a very is a good team, man. It's a good team. So now it is time for my predictions. These are the games I actually think we're gonna see in the Europa Conference League. So I predict we're gonna see West Ham Lazio. I think we're gonna see George Gadon versus AK, Villarreal versus Fiorentina, AZ versus Lech Pozon, Istanbul versus Anderlecht, Nice versus Sheriff, Civis Sport versus Basel, Slovian Bacca Sipile versus Ghent. So those are my predictions. For the game, uh, for the round of 16, guys, I'll, let's see how many I can get correct. Hopefully, I can at least get four of the eight correct. And yeah, man, it's going to look interesting. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, guys, for the live reaction. So remember, guys, to so subscribe to get notified. Like this video to enjoy. Subscribe if you're new out here. Comment down below your thoughts, comment section below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.